Here you are. Um, going to try submitting the Google Kickstart practice session parcels problem. So um, let's hope this works. I've got a ON solution here. So paste that in. A little bit worried about it because I had a bit of a tricky bug which I just spotted. So here we go. Come on. Awesome. So yeah, I was pretty ha happy with this. I managed to find a ON solution, although I probably recommend just trying to use binary search or something to make it a bit easier. But Okay, so since this is a practice session, maybe I can give a few hints, but I don't want to just give away the code for now. I'll post I'll post the GitHub of the code once the contest ends. But um, yeah, some hints on if you want to do an ON solution. Well, you can use bread for search on all the delivery outposts and that will help you figure out for every cell, how far away is it from a delivery outpost. And then you kind of want to look at the cells that are furthest from a delivery outpost and you kind of want to put a delivery outpost near, near them. So say I have a cell here and it's 10 distance 10 from a delivery outpost. Then I know there's like a, a diamond of size 10 such that, you know, there must be like a zero, a delivery outpost here, or maybe there's one over here or something like that. So if I put a delivery outpost anywhere within this diamond, that's going to help this guy out. It's going to be closer using Manhattan distance. And then if I look at like the next cell that's furthest away from a delivery outpost, it could be, maybe there's a cell over here that's quite far from a delivery outpost. So we draw a diamond around that, right? So anything, any delivery outpost within this diamond is going to help this guy out. And so what are the, so both of these two diamonds need a delivery outpost. So that kind of makes sense that the um, delivery outpost needs to be in the intersection here, right? So the idea for the algorithm would be we could just process cells in order based on how far they are. So furthest first from a delivery outpost. And for each one, we construct a diamond around it and we intersect that with the existing diamond. So we might have another diamond over here that intersects to give this intersection point here. And then we might then eventually we get to a point where there's, let's say one out here where it doesn't intersect with this diamond. So we know we can't help this guy out. So then the answer is the size of this guy. Like how far is this guy from a delivery outpost? Um, so that would be the solution. Um, so yeah, it's quite a fun algorithm. Um, the other insights is, I guess each time your distance decreases, we need to shrink these diamonds. So, um, like, uh, let's say I have a, a diamond. If I put a delivery up post anywhere on this fringe, then let's say, then the answer will be seven. Let's just say, and then let's say we find another cell over here and it's got a diamond of size six, then all of a sudden it's like, oh, this diamond could be of size six. So we need to decrease the size of this diamond before we intersect it with a smaller diamond. So each time we decrease the size of these diamonds, we have to decrease the size of the intersected diamond. Um, and so to degree, uh, decrease in the size is pretty simple. You just move this point in one, move this point in one, move this point in one, move this point in one. 
And in terms of a coordinate system, I just used J minus I and I plus J. And then I took um, the left corner and the right corner. And so we have the IJ value here of this cell that's far, maybe distance seven from a delivery outpost. And so we can subtract uh, six to get to her and add six to get to her. Uh, if it was zero, we'd just stay where we are. And then we can convert this coordinate system into this coordinate system here. Because so we're starting off with a, a coordinate system that's just um, ij kind of thing. And so to convert, you can just use this formula here that I came up with. But then you just have to be careful for cells that aren't actually valid coordinates. Um, so that was the bug I had to fix this morning, which is um, means I'm almost getting late for work. I better actually get going pretty soon. Um, yeah, and to intersect a diamond, you can just think of it as a rectangle. So I just looked up um, intersect to rectangles and should give this guy an upvote because yeah you just take the maximum of two values and the minimum of two values um, so that let's just say we're intersecting this one and this one then we want the maximum, no, we want the minimum of these two, which will give this line here. And then we want the minimum of these two, which will give this line here. And we want, what else do we want? We want the minimum of these two, which would give this line here. And then we want the maximum of this one and this one, which will give this one. And that's what's good about using these coordinates that I came up with was because it would help with this. Then we can just use maximums and minimums because this is always increasing. Uh, these are always increasing as we go from left to right. So we can kind of think of left as the small side and the right is the big side. Um, but yeah, it's um, yeah, it's a little bit mind boggling doing different coordinate systems and things like that. But um, the overall result is super quick. Um, they, with Rust, it pretty much solves it instantly. So um, we could have done much bigger test cases. But anyway, um, hope you're all enjoying Kickstart and. Um, Good luck if you try to tackle this problem. I wouldn't say it's very easy to implement, but um, yeah, was, I thought it was a fun problem and an interesting algorithm. So I'm interested to see the um, editorial once it comes out to see if they, the guys at Google came up with a known solution or not. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching and yeah, subscribe. And yeah, look out for the, um, the GitHub. I'll, I'll post in the comments uh, closer to the end.